Hello everyone, Rurikan here once again and as promised here is the second installment on my God of War Ascension press event series, so to speak, if it can even be called a series, it's three videos, but um, in this particular video uh, I will be performing an interview on uh, Jason McDonald who is the lead combat designer for God of War Ascension. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. I, I'm Once again, I'm sorry for the uh, equipment that I had access to um, for this particular interview. I really wish I had a better microphone on the camera and all that stuff, uh, but unfortunately I didn't, so this was all I really had to work with. But neither, nevertheless, I hope you guys uh, enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. This is for uh, Portugal Gaming, uh, PT, uh, Portuguese gaming website. Okay. Um, so the first question is a fairly easy one. What happened to Kratos at the end of God of War? What happened to Kratos? <laughs> I mean, everybody would like to know that, right? We left the blood stain behind. You don't know what happened. Uh, yeah, I mean, this game doesn't dive into that, so I can't really say. But uh, <laughs> so I'm sorry. <laughs> So did you feel that it was time to give Kratos uh, some rest on his crusade against the Olympus and is that why you kind of did this prequel? Uh, well, I don't think that was the only reason. I mean, a big part of it was Top Happy wanted to tell the story. He wanted to tell the story that uh, we had talked about in other God of Wars where he, had, he was a torment after killing his wife and he was going mad and this is what kind of drove him along the path of God of War 1 to, to kill Ares. Uh, and, uh, and at the same time, I, you know, it's like God of War 3, there, was, there wasn't much of Olympus left after he got through yeah, with it. Exactly. So, uh, so it did allow us to, to kind of, peak, you know, to, to, to uh, I guess, apply some of the, uh, the elements of the gods and things like that uh, that we wouldn't have been able to do in a, in a sequel. So were you concerned that the fans would be a little bit confused about, about this title specifically in regards to the question that I asked you earlier because everyone wanted to know what happened to Kratos? And I think a lot of people even during the, the when you guys started announcing it, everyone was like, oh, it's God of War 4, it's God of War 4. <laughs> were you concerned that the fans were a little bit confused about it? Or? Uh, I mean, the, well, I, I don't know if there was... There's always concern. Like whenever we, we do anything, uh, we we hope the fans uh, embrace it because we're doing this all for the fans. So there was a little bit of concern for sure, like making sure that because um, there were other people's like the uh, got the, the PSP was a prequel. And... Yeah, so we wanted to make sure that this story was compelling enough to tell. And uh, and like I said, I, I we thought that it was, so that's why we made the story. Is uh, Demos going to make an appearance in this one? <laughs> Demos is not in God of War Ascension. <laughs> <laughs> That's a shame. So, uh, how many hours of awesomeness can uh, we expect from the single player experience, and is there anything in that you're particularly proud of, without spoiling anything? Uh, well, I mean, the, the length uh, is going to be similar to God of War um, A lot of our early play tests, or not, or sorry, later play tests when the game was complete, actually had numbers clocking in longer than that, like around a 12 hour mark. So, um, so I think we're, we're pretty happy with the length of the That's, single player. That's content. a very good length. Um, and uh, as far as what I'm more, most proud of, um, I'd have to say um, probably just the, the overall package, if I could say that. And, and the reason I say that is because this is the biggest God of War we've done. I mean, uh, usually around this time, like when the game is over, it's like we're just kicking back, we're going on vacation, we're come back, yeah, yeah. But this time, it's like we're, 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 you know, we're still tuning and balancing multiplayer, we're still gonna be looking at the forums and listening to the community once the game comes out. So, and when you think, and when you look at all the content that's in multiplayer, there's tons of abilities and tons of weapons, and the most weapons we've ever put in a God of War game. So that, from a combat perspective, uh, I know for me, I love playing other movesets and other weapons you know, in, in a game, so the fact that we provided so many, I'm very proud of that. That's, that, that was actually pretty amazing. That, that was one of the concerns of the community and um, up until this day still, I still see comments on YouTube and things like that uh, where people were concerned about the multiplayer aspect of God of War Ascension. One of those concerns was that it, would, it was going to take away from the single player portion of the game. Right. Yeah. Do you feel this was the case? No, I don't. Um, I mean, I, I understand the concern though. I mean, I think as a gamer myself, Whenever any kind of solo game developer announces multiplayer, there's two thoughts you think of at first. It's like, first one is like, you know, are they just doing this because just tack it on? Like, they're just trying to cash in on multiplayer? Or, you know, you think, oh, it's going to take away from the experience that I enjoy so much. So, when we first decided to do it, we wanted to make sure we weren't going to do either of those things. So, the story and the design of the game was unaffected by the. the you know, the desire to do multiplayer. And in and, and doing multiplayer, we wanted to make sure that we 
provided some experience that was compelling. And I think what uh, you'll find with open beta and things like that is that there's not a, a game that's quite like that multiplayer. Like I can't I can't find one right now. And, that's, uh, and that, the goal was to create that experience, something that's unique to God of War. That, that's a very good point because uh, I actually was in the, the closed beta because I'm a PlayStation okay. Plus member. Great. Um, so I actually got to experience it and it, it was one of the fears, once again, like you said, that it would be attacked on multiplayer. Mm -hmm. But it clearly wasn't because I've tried it myself. I know it's not attacked on and some people might even think that it's a button masher, but it's clearly not a button masher at all yeah, because yeah. it takes specific tactics. So the question is, um, why now and what are your goals? Because this is the first time you guys are doing multiplayer. As far as I'm aware, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. So, what are your goals for this multiplayer, and why did you feel it had to be now in this particular game? Yeah. So, at the end of God of War three, um, you know, we, we all sat in a room, you know, many days, many, and just thinking like, what can we do with this next game? You know, what, 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 where can we take it? And uh, and multiplayer came up, and we tested it, and we, we found some fun, so we 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 went with it, and we kept on going. And Mark Simon behind me, <laughs> behind you, making faces at. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> but uh, but the goal of multiplayer um, was to just provide a unique multiplayer experience, something that you can't find in other games. It was to create something that was unique to God of War and felt like God of War in terms of the brutality and the epic scale. And in open beta, we showed like one small level, and one big level. But there's actually three other big levels and three other small levels. And there's two other classes, all with their own upgrade trees and abilities and stuff like that. And there's multiple, there's many more weapons. Like we only showed, I think, ten for multi for open beta, like ten total, like swords and hammers. Yeah, I, um, I, I only saw swords and hammers. Yeah, yeah. So there's there's actually a lot more, you know. So um, the goal with multiplayer was actually to, to, at the end of the day, at least from a combat perspective, was to make sure it remains playable and remains fun, you know. And we know that's going to require balancing and, and continuous like watching over the game. We, we're not sending it out there to die. We want to make sure that uh, you know when we see trends that we don't like and things that are overpowered that we can go and address it and keep the game fun. Do you have any uh, plans for God of War tournaments? Um, currently, I, I can't speak to you know, what we may do in the future for Ascension, except for the fact that it's not done. You know, meaning that I mean, the game is done in, in sense that you know all the content's in there and everything's there. But we're going to continue to support it with even more content and new ideas down the road. But I was talking about like esports tournaments. Actually. Oh, like, like esports. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you're considering that for God of War, maybe possibility. Uh, I mean, I would say the decision is not in my hands for that sort of thing, but. Uh, uh, yeah, we're, we're not taking it lightly. Like we want to keep it competitive. We want to make it so people can play against each other and, and actually have different strategies. And, and hopefully, it could get to that level where you know it, it could be any sports. Yeah. Uh, so you told me that you're going to be releasing five maps total for the multiplayer. Uh, well, there's four big maps and four small maps. So, oh, so eight, eight maps, maps total. total. Yeah. Okay. Are you going to be releasing any in the future? More um, maps. Uh, like I said, I can't speak to the future DLC plans. I know, I know, I know why you're asking. I know you're, what you're trying to get, but uh, um, all I can say is that we're going to continue to support okay. it. Okay. Okay. Uh, are the single player and multiplayer modes connected in any way? Like, for instance, uh, you playing multiplayer, you can get bonuses in single player and vice right. versa. Yeah, there's no, there's, there's actually no connection in that matter. Um, there is a game connection though, where it's like people who play through the single player will recognize some of the things that they see in multiplayer. Um, they might actually recognize the main character of multiplayer yeah, as well. Yeah, he was right there. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so there's a little bit of overlap between the two games, and and there's even greater overlap when you look at the combat, just because the button scheme is the same and a lot of the basic combat, command, combat mechanics are the same. So taking into account that um, that character, the multiplayer character appeared uh, while you were playing the demo there, um, will he also be appearing in other sections of the game or did he just die there and he's gone forever? I can't spoil this. <laughs> I, 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 I don't want to reveal anything that's going to happen in the story. No, okay, I, I understand. But, uh, I understand. Yeah. Um, now that you've shown what you guys can really do in regards to multiplayer, is this going to be like a, a trend in your future titles? Um, I mean, I, I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but I will say that, you know, we, we, we're making multiplayer and we don't want to just let it die, I'll say that. So it's like it really depends on the community, it really depends on, on, uh, on the response we get once we release it, and uh, anything's possible. And while we were speaking of future titles, I'd like to, to tell you that we kind of missed you guys during the Sony PlayStation 4 announcement, <laughs> yeah. uh, the presentation they did. However, we're pretty sure that you guys are working on something for the PlayStation 4. Anything at all that you can give me on that? Yeah. Uh, I can't. You know, I can't talk about anything that we're doing or maybe doing. But um, what I can say is that everybody's excited. You know, the PS4. Yeah, everybody's like, excited. Right it, it, it took 
I don't know, for how many years since the last console? Like yeah, I think eight it years? was almost eight or seven. Yeah, seven eight sure. years, something like that. It's been a long time. So it's like seeing the new hardware, seeing the new specs, definitely generates ideas, and uh, everybody's excited about the new console. Um, you guys are known as one of the few developers that can really take advantage of the PlayStation hardware and push it and push it to its limits. It has been the case in both PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3, uh, where games are basically visually stunning and the animation work is just. What, what I'm a, I'm not big into graphics, but animation is just the thing for me. So your animation is amazing on Thank every you. title yeah. that I've seen so appreciate far. That, yeah. <laughs> What's your secret? How can you guys really take advantage of the, of the PlayStation hardware when there when there's so many other developers where you see really inferior titles? I mean, what, what's your secret? Yeah. In, in terms of everything, how, how, what is your secret basically? I, mean, uh, I think it's just the passion. You know, it's like uh, you know, multiplayer is a good example where it's like we have a lot of passionate people on the multiplayer team that just driving it forward, making sure that. No, you know, it's like everything we're saying is completely true. We're going to focus on it and stuff like that. Uh, animation is the same thing. We have an animation team that's completely focused on making sure they're the best looking animations. We don't mocap any of the game in game animations. Like they're all done by hand animator. You don't do motion capture. We do we do some motion capture in the game for like some of the cinematics and stuff like that. But all those crazy like for example when Kratos uh, was leaping on Hecaton and going around him and stuff like all hand animated. I and, I am very very surprised. <laughs> but and 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 but that's the I think that's part Part of the, partially part of the secret, right? Because like, we have animators that can do that, and um, and every game we make, we wanna, you know, we want them to be able to showcase their skills and showcase, it, and they do it every time, and, and it looks great. It, it is very very amazing. I was not aware. I thought you guys did motion capture. Uh, so Vito owners, where I'm included as well, have been craving for some uh, to experience some of Kratos' God slaughtering awesomeness on the go. You got any projects in place for that? I mean, it's the same answer I have to give as I gave before. It's like I can't speak on like a future, like anything, pretty much other than ascension. Because, and, and to be honest, like I'm not. It's not just because like I just can't talk about it. It's also because that I'm we're really focusing on ascension right now. It's like right now this is consuming all of our uh, the, time. The God of War one and two uh, HD collections are actually playable on the Vita through remote play. Mm -hmm. Is this going to be something that you guys are going to be able to do at ascension? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> okay. So taking into account your experience with the God of War series as, as well as all the other collaborative work that your studio has done, because you guys have done a lot of collaborative work with other studios that people aren't really aware of, um, do you guys have any plan to develop a new IP? Um, <laughs> I can't speak to the future plans of the studio, unfortunately. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, well, just to, to finish up, um, at Portugal Gaming we have several die-hard God of War fans. Is there anything that you'd like to tell me? Uh, well, I'd like to say that, you know, this is my first time at Portugal. It's my first time seeing the fans of God of War, and uh, it's definitely something that I'm going to relay to the team because you guys are awesome. Like, you guys are the reason why everybody on our team works so hard, and just to see that, like, how, how much enjoyment you get out of our games is going to keep driving us forward, so thank you all. So that's that's amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh,